Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix inaccessible boot device error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And also this video will help to fix no bootable device error or no boot device error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Before continue with any advanced troubleshooting, first you need to identify the causes behind inaccessible boot device error or no boot device error or no bootable device error. Otherwise, you will not be able to troubleshoot this error. Here, I have mentioned some possible factors might cause behind this error. Number 1. Corrupted files in the boot partition. Number 2. Corrupted or missing boot configuration data. Number 3. File system corruption. Number 4. Changes to the storage controller mode or configurations in the BIOS. Number 5. Using a different storage controller than the one that was used when installing Windows. Number 6. Due to migrate ways or when moving the hard disk to a different computer or same computer's another slot that has a different controller mode. And number 7. This much more rarely caused by a faulty storage controller or faulty hard disk. Whatever, don't worry. Here's 7 possible fixes that can surely help to fix inaccessible boot device error or no boot device error or no bootable device error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So, let's get started. At first, let's start with some easy method. Press Ctrl Alt and Delete key combination to restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS by pressing the BIOS key. Now, check very carefully whether your boot disk is detected in BIOS information tab or not. If detected, then no problem, you can go to the next method. If not detected, then you need to check the connection between the motherboard and the hard disk. Note, if there is not a solid connection between the motherboard and the hard disk, then it will produce the no boot device error or no bootable device error. To fix the problem, you first need to make sure that your desktop or laptop has no electrical power and is cool and stable. Once you confirm, then turn off your computer by pressing and hold down the power button and unplug the AC power adapter cable from laptop's electrical outlet. Now remove the main battery for laptop users. Note, if your laptop's battery is inside your laptop, then find a battery reset pinhole at the bottom side of your laptop. Once you found, insert a paper clip into the battery reset pinhole and gently press for 10 seconds to reset the battery. Now, open the laptop's access panel to check the hard disk. Or if you are a desktop user, then open the side panel of your computer case. Once done, check the connection between the motherboard and the hard disk to confirm that if there is a solid connection. And clean the connector cartridges if necessary. If problem is not solved, then check to see if the drive is working properly or not. Connect your HDD or SSD to a different computer by using a USB adapter cable for PCIe, SATA or IDE. After applying all of these steps, if your hard disk does not showing in the BIOS, 
then it's better to check by installing another hard disk. After installing another hard disk, if it's detected by BIOS, that means something is wrong with your old hard disk and it's time to replace your old hard disk. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. First, restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS by pressing the BIOS key. Now, you need to set the correct storage controller mode for your hard disk. Note, if you have installed more than one hard disk, then the advanced startup feature should be set as AACI mode. And if you have a older hardware and a single hard disk, then the advanced startup features should be set as IDE mode for better compatibility. And if you have installed multiple hard disks, then the advanced startup features should be set as RAD mode. So, I hope you understand which storage controller mode you need to choose for better compatibility and better performance for your hard disks. Once you set the correct storage controller mode for your hard disks, just save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. After that, the BIOS setup utility closes and the computer boots into Windows. If not solved, then try this third method. Before continue, you should know about what is the default boot order. The default boot order settings are configured by manufacturer when the computer is built in the factory. The default boot order determines what the computer boots to first. Ok, first reset your computer. While the display is blank, continue to press the BIOS key to enter the PC's BIOS settings menu. Now, you need to select the proper boot device. The BIOS user interface may be different in your case, so before configuring the BIOS, read the key instructions from BIOS item specific information. After opening the BIOS, go to boot settings. After that, I am selecting the boot disk where Windows was installed. Now, I will be moving my boot disk up out of the boot priority order list to set as primary boot disk to directly boot from that. After that, I am going to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from the BIOS setup utility. After that, hopefully the problem will be solved. In order to continue this procedure, you will need an installation media for the installed version of Windows. If you don't have an Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Now, insert your Windows installation media to your computer's USB port. After that, restart your computer and go to your PC's BIOS. Now, select your USB drive to boot from that. Now click next. Click repair your computer at the bottom. Now choose troubleshoot and then command prompt. Now type disk part and press enter. Ok, now type list disk and press enter. Ok, our hard disk and windows instruction media is showing here. Now select your boot disk by typing the command cell disk and your boot disk number and press enter. After that type list fall and press enter. To find out your system drive letter and OS drive letter. Now you need to find out the system drive letter and the OS drive letter because sometimes the system drive letter and the OS drive letter may be automatically changed. Here's my OS drive letter is G and system drive letter is E. You can identify your system drive letter and OS drive letter by drive size. Now you need to select OS drive by typing the command cell wall and your OS drive's volume number and press enter. Now we need to assign a new drive letter to create boot files. Now picking a drive letter between M and Z 
because earlier drive letter may still get assigned to drives that don't always show up in the file explorer like optical and removable cut drives m through z are almost never used on most windows systems so type the command assign letter equals to type your letter give a colon and then press enter Okay, as you can see the message, this part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. Now, exit from the disk part. Now, type your assigned letter and give a colon and press enter. After that, type the final command, pcd boot space your OS drive letter, give a colon, backward slash windows space, forward slash s space, your assigned system drive letter, colon space for slash f space all and press enter okay as you can see the message the boot file successfully created now exit from the command prompt and turn off your pc and remove the windows installation media and then turn the pc back on after that hopefully your problem will be solved If not solved or if you get failure when attempting to copy boot files error after applying this command then try this fifth method. First open the command prompt by following the previous steps. Now type bcd edit space for slash export space your OS drive letter colon backslash slash bcd and then press enter. Next type achieve space your system drive letter colon backslash slash boot backslash slash bcd space hyphen h space hyphen r space hyphen s and then press enter next type ren space your system drive letter colon backslash slash boot backslash slash bcd space bcd dot old and then press enter next type boot track space for slash rebuild bcd and then press enter now you should see the message successfully scanned windows installation and number of total identified windows installation okay here shows total identified windows installation one next type a for all and press enter okay as you can see the message the operation completed successfully also it will help you to add boot files to a PC after applying a new windows image or repair the boot menu on a dual boot PC. Now exit from the command prompt and turn off your PC and remove the windows installation media and then turn the PC back on. After that hopefully your problem will be solved. If not solved. Then after opening the command prompt, type your OS drive letter, give a colon and press enter and type jar and press enter to confirm. Once you confirm, then type bcd boot space your OS drive letter colon backward slash windows space forward slash s space your OS drive letter colon and press enter. Ok as you can see the message the boot files successfully created. After that close the command prompt and turn off your PC and remove the windows instruction media and then turn your PC back on. After that hopefully your problem will be solved. If all of this method not working for you, then run this following command at a winre command prompt. First, type the command bcd edit and press enter. Now, you need to find out your OS drive letter. Ok, my OS drive letter is G. 
and system root path location source backslash windows in sentence case and if your system root path location showing in upper case then no problem now type the command sfc space for slash scan now space for slash of booter equals to your os drive letter colon backslash space for slash of winder equals to your os drive letter colon backslash your system root path location note maintain the same block or small format as it is showing on the system root path location now press enter to run this command now keep patience and don't close this scan and repair operation until it's completed this might take some times so i just fast forward this boring part After completing the process, as you can see the status, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Now type exit and then press enter. Now turn off your system and remove the Windows installation media and then turn your PC back on. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If these both commands is don't work, that's when your system drive is not accessible. In that case, it's better to perform a clean installation process on a separate partition. After that, try to recover your important data from the corrupted system partition. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.